Hello! In this video, I'm going to do a little introduction to ceramics, and we're going to learn the first couple things you'll need to know. And that first very important step is learning how to center a piece of clay. So before you get started with your clay, you're going to need a bucket of water. You're going to need your wire tool for taking your clay off, your pin tool for checking center, a rib for when we get to the pulling of our clay, and your um, undercut tool for finishing off your clay. Then you'll need your clay and you can see that I've done the wedging which I'll show you in class. And you'll need to wedge and you want to see that spiral on the bottom of your clay. You don't want to use the tip of your clay and put the tip down. You want the spiral on the bottom. Then your wheel should be clean and dry. So you want to make sure that it's, you know, that the previous person cleaned up well and then you want to make sure that it's nice and dry. Okay, if it's a little bit wet you can use your palm and just kind of wipe it off. Um, but you want the clay to, or the wheel rather, to be not completely dry because then the clay won't stick. But if it's too wet, then the clay is going to slide off. So you want it just um, damp. Okay. Then I like to look at the concentric circles on the wheel as you get started. And I like to take the clay and kind of plop it down right in the middle. And try to get it centered as well as I can before I even put water on. So I turn my wheel on nice and slow and look and see how it's centered. It's kind of angling over to this side a little bit too much. So I'm gonna pat it down with one hand and in with the other hand, just nice and gentle. I'm pressing probably down more than I am in. And what I'm doing is I'm just gently centering this clay by patting it first. There, now we've got a pretty nicely, a reasonably centered piece of clay. Underneath here, you're gonna see that there's still a little gap where the clay and the wheel head meet. So the first step here is we're gonna seal the clay to the wheel head. So first we attach the clay on, now we're going to seal it. Next we're going to cone, so step three we're going to cone our clay. Step four we're going to compress the clay back into a centered lump and you're going to do that process at least three times. Okay. So I'm going to just get a little bit of water on the clay and just take my finger right down here at the bottom and squish it into the clay, head, clay into the wheel head so that the clay gets completely sealed to the wheel head. Then I'm going to start my coning. Step three, we're going to cone this clay up and then we're going to compress it down. Now I'm starting with a larger lump of clay. It's about a two pound lump of clay. You're going to start with just a one pound lump. I'm doing mine a little bigger so that you can see my hands a little better. Now for coning, a lot of potters will put their arms on their on the um, the splash pan here so that they can get the smallest amount of distance between their arm and their hand and therefore more power. Um, some people do it on their legs, some people do it on the wheel or splash pan. I like to actually put my hand in towards the center against my belly and then use my right hand to pull up into the cone. All right, you're just gonna have to find whatever is the most comfortable for you. Uh, and there's a million ways to do this. So now that I have my clay ready, I'm gonna speed my wheel up and I'm gonna pull my clay up and into the center. So there's my cone. Now you'll see it's just a little bit off center down here at the bottom. It's kind of blopping around. So I'm just going to take my thumb and kind of clean off that little bit of clay at the bottom and I'm going to cone it up one more time. Now one thing you're going to find very quickly here about clay is that if you let your hands get too dry You'll see like right here, this clay is starting to stick to my hand a little bit too much and it's going to start skidding and that's going to be really difficult to work with. You'll feel that as it, as it happens. So there's my cone. It's pretty well centered. Now I'm going to take this part of my hand here and I'm going to press it down to compress the clay and I'm going to keep my right hand here and use it as a wall to kind of force the clay to stay in line. Okay, I'm going to press that down. Notice that it's getting a little wider. And you can almost see a little mushroom shape down here. Okay, continuing on, making sure I've gotten enough water. Now when I get down here to the bottom, there's still this little lump right down here. I'm gonna take my fingers and press down and kind of make that final leap towards being centered by squishing that clay and resealing it to the wheel head. 
Notice that I'm using both hands and I'm kind of locking them together with my thumbs here so that the two hands don't stray apart from each other. And there is a pretty nicely centered piece of clay. Now, that is just the first coning. I've coned once, and then I can press that clay down into the center. You'll notice how it's nicely attached to the wheel head. It's nice and smooth. And at this point, or at any point after you've centered the clay back down, you can use your pin tool and just drag it right along the top of the clay. And you should see that it doesn't wiggle at all. It should be nice and straight like this one is. Okay, now that I've finished my first coning and compressing, I'm gonna cone and compress one more time. You should be able to do this three times with your clay um, before it's properly centered because you're kind of wedging the clay as you go. So here we go again. I'm gonna get my brace position. Normally you'd be like this. I like to put in this way and then pull up. So I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna get the clay from the bottom, pull up. Like that. Now I've got a pretty nicely coned piece of clay. I'm gonna compress the clay again. Using this part of my hand, I'm gonna press down and use my right hand to control the clay so it doesn't get out of line. And you'll see that little mushroom shape starting again right here. So I'm gonna compress that down with my fingers and my palm, palm of my left hand, fingers of my right hand. Making sure I've got enough water so that the clay doesn't start to skid. Okay, that's my second coning and compressing. And now I'm gonna start my third coning and compressing. So I'm gonna cone it again. Notice that my cones are a little shallower on the second and third time. The first time I had a little taller cone. Now I'm just kind of more shallowly coning. Now I'm gonna compress again. More water. Compress again. And each time I'm going back for more water, what's happening is the clay is starting to skid on my palm and I don't want it to skid because then it takes the clay off center. Some people tend to throw a little drier, meaning they use less water. Some people throw with more water. So it all depends on what you want and what's the most comfortable. Okay. Now, there's my centered piece of clay. Um, I'm gonna just show you with the line here of my, I'm gonna kind of wipe the top off just so you can see. If I take my pin tool now and test the center. You can see it makes a nice circle, even circle around there like so. And that is how you finish your centering. Now it should take you about five minutes to center and the five, in that five minutes, you should be able to cone your clay up at least three times and have a perfectly centered lump of clay at the end. Okay, you can see how it's nicely sealed to the wheel head and how it's a nice kind of, uh, nice shape. Now, as you center, you can center things to be like taller and skinnier if you're gonna do a cylinder or you can center them wider so if you're going to be doing like an open bowl shape, but that's how you center. So again, the steps are, you know, pat the clay so it seals to the wheel head nicely. Have your wheel head not too wet, but not too dry. Then seal the clay to the wheel head. Step three, cone your clay up. Step four, compress your clay and seal it back to the wheel head. And then do that process three times. Um, that is how you center your clay.